Good day, everybody. This is Joe, and I'm back at the Secret Squirrel Worldwide Headquarters of Camera Dactyl Cameras with my friend Ethan Moses, and we're going to be designing a laser cut pinhole camera project. Ethan has his new laser cutter here, and uh, so we need to conceptualize what kind of camera do we want to build. The challenge today is in one day can we think of a project, draw that project, make a CAD model, cut it out, build a prototype, make any changes necessary, photograph that to put it on the internet to sell it, and then make a video all before the sun goes down or, you know, yeah. before I go to sleep. Hopefully it'll be before he goes to sleep because the days are getting short here in the Northern Hemisphere. I guess we were thinking about making 8x10 and 4x5 um, pinhole cameras that take sheet film holders like this. Um, the Leonardo is like a classic one. I don't think it was made anymore. Um, I think Eric Renner made that one. Uh, yeah. uh, he passed away before I could meet him. Unfortunately, Joe got to meet him. Um, and so I just did a little bit of sketching last night uh, about, you know, ways in which one might build a really inexpensive laser cut kit to do that. Um, I, this is sort of based on the camera that you and I made. Mm -hmm. Uh, back at QLab maybe a year and a half, two years ago. Yep. Um, and I think it uses not way too many parts, but a few too many parts and would be complicated for people to manufacture at home. So we've been thinking about like how few parts can we make where it works really well and doesn't look too bad. And so we've been trying to uh, figure out how many of these parts can we eliminate and change the geometry so that it's still um, nice and, and clean and will work well. So we've been basically been designing a box that pops together and then glues and has some flanges for this guy and bungee cords to hold it on. Um, and yeah, how, how simple can we make it is, is the name of the game, I guess. <laughs> My line work here, <laughs> as I do. Listen, Toots, we're going to make some cameras, see? Stick with me. I'm going to take you all the way to the top. We're going to make a product. We're going to go to Hollywood. <laughs> so I'm thinking, like, um, that this would just make, like, a gravity shutter that has a, um, what should it have? It should have a stop on one side. Yeah, put a little, a little block, a little piece of wood on the bottom so when it, when it falls down, it, it can't, go yeah. any, can't go any further. Um, and maybe like, well, I guess you don't, probably don't need a lock because uh, you have a dark slide. Yeah. If you transport the camera, and you know, it's not going to be a problem. Yeah, and then the tripod socket would be here. Yeah. And then also come down there. Mm -hmm. um, and then, as you said earlier. Um, we can make these joints light tight with just sticks right in yeah. there. So uh, what I kind of want to do is do a back view of this thing and then maybe we'll draw all the pieces and then we can just cat it up. Yeah. You can make some uh, engineering changes to my drawings. Yep. Corner baffles X4. So I'm just making a rough sketch of a film holder, which I'm going to measure with uh, this guy, and then we're going to dimension it. It's the only dimensions that we really are going to need uh, to make this camera. This is like the one thing that you know, needs to be kind of precise. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we uh, have 
finished this guy. It's basically a box. It's got this shutter here. Uh, if you push down on this lever, the shutter will swing open. Um, and the camera can be mounted like this on this side or on this side with the dark slide up. And we've got a very simple uh, flange system to slide a holder in here. And then we put the tripod holes up in the front here uh, so that they wouldn't interfere with these rubber band holders. And that's basically it. It's about a 90 millimeter focal length for a 4x5. We could pretty easily make it longer or shorter. Okay, so this is the layout of the pieces on the piece of plywood that we're going to cut. What do you think, Ethan? You happy so far about it, potentially? Yeah, I mean, we'll find out in uh, 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, but, yeah, I am excited to make a cut. <laughs> All right. That is a CO2 laser tube, folks. Well, so Ethan is putting the file into the cutter here. And All right, let's start her. Okay. Oh yeah. Ah. Look at that. Oh, the laser tube. Oh yes. Okay, there it is. Let it let it cut. That should be some permanent mounted webcam, I think. I think so. You know what? You should live stream your laser. It's very nice when all the pieces just fall. All the pieces just fall right out. See if we can put this thing together dry. Sure, that looks pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. like that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we'll stop there. This guy here, and this guy here. Nice. Yep. Pivot. Shutter pivot right there. Nice, sweet. So Ethan's making a change order list for little minor tweaks to the file. Yep. Um. Well, Ethan, what is your conclusion about today's little experiment? Uh, so I think it was a success. Uh, I've got about five little engineering changes to do, mostly to figure out how to uh, engrave some sight lines and maybe some graphics. And uh, maybe by the time you get home tonight, I will send you a picture of a completed camera. So we're calling this the Dodo? Sure. Yeah, so we come up with an image of a dodo and whatever, so yeah. This was a lot of fun being over at Ethan's and checking out his new laser cutter and what it's capable of. And I'm sure you're gonna have a lot more products in the future that you can create with this Yeah, I'll tool. race this video to put this product out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, until next time, guys, you take it easy and have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.